Hi, thanks for gardening with me. I'm Melissa and today I'm going to be working in the vegetable garden. I'll be harvesting some of the lettuce and kale and some of the other cold weather crops and make way for the summer crops to flourish. So as you can see, I did have a few bean plants planted in between all the lettuce and um, they just weren't getting anywhere near enough sun. Uh, so now I think that they'll grow and uh, just really spread and do a lot better now that they have some sunlight that can get to them. And this is one of my favorite tools to use. It's like a mini hoe. It has nice sharp edges and you can just go in and loosen up the soil with it. I use it all the time. I'll do today is go to Strader's, our local garden center, and get some pepper plants to put in this vegetable garden. So I'm also going to take this time to uh, check over the plants that I do have growing in the beds here. This is a potato and towards the time that they're ready to harvest, they'll start dying back and not looking so great. But I don't think that's what's going on here. I think why this doesn't look so great is because it was just crowded out. We'll go ahead and remove anything that doesn't look good, just to keep the beds nice and healthy. And now that this potato has a lot more room, I think it's going to be a lot happier. So I don't know if you can see this or not, it's so small, but this is from um, my little volunteer potato that came up from last year. I must have had a little potato that I left in the ground over the winter. And um, sometimes the potatoes are close to the surface and I just got this little teeny red potato out so obviously that's what this plant is so I bet you down in there there's some really big nice potatoes can't wait to harvest those so there you go I have all the lettuce that was in that area and that was romaine lettuce I had that all taken up um, loosened the soil up so it looks really good there there was only a couple weeds growing in there because there's just no sunlight that gets down in there to let the weeds flourish and so now I'm going to move on to this area here. You can see it's pretty crowded right now. So there you go. I think I'm going to leave the rest of this kale here. It looks really great. It's doing good. Um, I've taken it back a little bit so that the beans can get some more sunlight so they'll do a lot better. And then this pepper plant here has room to grow. today's project. Thank you so much for gardening with me. I hope that you see just how much produce you can get from a small bed and it'll be feeding my family and um, many of my friends and family as well. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing what um, the summer crops are going to do now that they have room to spread and they can get more sunlight. So uh, thank you so much again for gardening with me and have a great week.